at the Standard Bank Arena. Thank you very much there, Elvis. And I must say, as I said earlier, when you guys came to us, that the venue is starting to fill up nicely. Dignitaries are coming in. After all, this is probably the biggest memorial service in as far as three fallen heroes of the country. But let me speak to one of the delegates here, one of the VIPs of the, of the day, Dr. Daniel Dan Safa, President, uh, President. Doctor, here we are. Uh, it's, it's one of those sad days, but we're here to celebrate more than anything the life of our fallen heroes, so to speak. Yes, uh, we are here to celebrate uh, the three big M's in our, our South African sport. Um, and of course, we, we talked a lot about Mahiwa, there's Malase and Malu, Maluazi. So uh, it is good for all the sport to come together and remember them. You know, these are the people who brought gold to the country, brought trophies and brought joy to our people. Uh, so we're coming here to pay respect, but remember the families, uh, the big issue here is the families uh, and their pain, um, our loss, but their loss is irreplaceable. They've lost a son, a daughter, a mother, a father that can never be replaced, so it's, it's very, very difficult. Uh, from South African Football Association side, you may know and I may give you breaking news now that we have decided to move our match from uh, Mombella Stadium uh, to Durban, uh, Moses Mabida Stadium. So that uh, when the Bafana Bafana team gathers, that they would have the opportunity to visit the family in Umlazi, to pay their respect and then visit the graveside. Uh, of course, all of them when we left uh, Polakwane after the Congo game, expected to see Senzo in the goalpost against Sudan. And now they have to go there and see him in his grave. Uh, and we felt that we should give that opportunity to uh, the team to go there and pay their respect. And uh, CAF readily agreed, you know, once you, you submit the venue for a CAF yeah, African Cup of Nations, tough to change. they don't allow a change. And so it, it was very special and touching from their side to agree to say, no, we understand the circumstances, you can move the match. And so it will be placed in the hometown of, of uh, Senzo. And uh, we hope uh, that all will be well against Sudan in Durban. Dr. Daniel Dan, thank you very much for joining us right on SBC News Channel. Go on your way. Much, much appreciated once again. And there you had it. Breaking news right here. Dr. Daniel Dan telling us that the match that was set for Mbombela, the return leg of the Sudan AFCON match, will now be moved to Durban to commemorate Senzumayo's life so that everyone in his hometown of Itegwini in Durban can go to the match. And also after the match, the players and all the visiting CAF or whatever football associates can go and visit Senzo's home as well as his graveside. Breaking news right here on SBC News Channel. I'm going to bring in another person. Everyone knows this man, former, well, former football great. We know him as Golden Fingers, Alex Chikwani. Sir, welcome to SABC News Channel 404. It's, it's, it's one of those days we sitting here, one can say it's sad, but when you see people come out to their numbers, commemorating the lives of all these three heroes that fallen, your personal, you know, with, 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 I'm going to bring Sanzo in particular for you because you're in the football fraternity. Your personal dealings with Sanzo, what do you, uh, uh, will you remind, remember him on? Uh, all I can say is that uh, he, he was in a class of his own. He's one man um, who's always been happy. One man who didn't care whether he plays for Pirates or whatever. You know, he, he was a people's man. And he was much more closer to our players, especially those who have been playing for Orlando Pirates and coming to Sundowns. So he uh, those players at Sundowns introduced him to some of the players at, at, at Sundowns. Yeah. And, uh, you, know, you know, if you remember well the kind of jokes that he was doing with, uh, with, uh, with Deco when they were talking about the goal that Trump was scored, it shows that he was a people's man. And, uh, you know, this is a very, very sad day for South African football, not only to Orlando Pirates. You know, once you play for the national squad, you are no longer a team's man. You are now the country player. So we have lost, everybody has lost the, the 16 teams in the PSL and all those teams in Vela and all the, the, the footballers, those who love him. It's unbelievable how people really are way, uh, like much more uh, in love with him yeah. because he was selfless. You know, he, he did so many good things for so many people and everybody excited, was excited about the way he was playing. And uh, this is particular seeing Bafana Bafana move 10 places up the rankings 
whilst he wasn't going. It's just unbelievable, you know, that we, we, we played against him as, as Mamelodi Sundowns, but he played against other countries as, as a player for South, South Africa. We were all so, like, pushing him to say, go up there, yeah. go up. And he was, like, really part of us. When he's in the field of play, he was part of the people who were watching him play. So, really, we don't know what to say, but it's a loss to everybody. Bob Shakwan, thank you very much for speaking to us on SBC News Channel. We're going to continue our broadcasting. We're going to bring in somebody now because, again, this memorial service includes three of our top athletes as far as the country is concerned. Manfred Seidler is a sports journal. He's covered athletics well, worldwide as far as that's concerned. Manfred, we heard memorial service. We've spoken to some of the football fundies. That man as well, Murayani Mulawutsi, he passed away also, unfortunately, car accident. Your dealings with him, you've been in athletics for a long time. What do you remember the most, or the best from Murayani? There's so many stories to be, so I think two really stick out in my mind. The first one was I was in Budapest with him when he made his international debut and he beat Verbjorn Rodal in 800 meters and the next thing he was on a plane to Stockholm to compete in the DN Galan. So that made his career. The other one which is, is a bit hard so but quite funny actually, he, he won the gold in, in Manchester in 2002 and he went off to the Africa Championships and he gets a phone call. I'm not going to try and imitate the voice because I can't do it. But it was Madiba saying, you know, you made us proud uh, representing our country. And, and his comment was, hey, man, who's this? <laughs> he, he just, he, he just, he, that's the kind of person he was. He just didn't believe that the president would find him. He was very down to earth, hard as nails, stubborn. When he was in the home straight, you did not pass him. Um, I think he's probably one of the most underrated athletes we've ever had. And it, only, and in fact, I was just about to say, I think Murayani is probably the best track athlete we've had in South Africa because of his accomplishments. Commonwealth Games medalist, uh, Olympic Games medalist, world champ, the list goes on. I think his, his time is what, a 143 is the best time? 142 high. Um, he just missed the SA record. That still belongs to Ezekiel Sepeng. Um, he's medaled at every single major international championships. You mentioned Commonwealth Games. He's world indoors. He medaled. He got gold medal twice silver, Olympic silver, world champion in 2009. Manchester 2002 and, and you know, all Africa games, Africa championships, so incredible athletes. Manfred, thank you very much for speaking to us. I'm going to go through to Criselda Lewis, our other journalist outside here at the, at the Standard Bank Arena. But before I go to you, Criselda, just one more. Jan, boxing, we lost a great as well in Pinal, up and coming in particular for women's boxing because it is a sport that we like to see it grow and gone too soon. We are definitely gone too soon. May us all rest in peace. It's a very hard blow. It's, a, it's under the belt for a boxing fraternity. It hold because I, that was an up-and-coming girl, really looking good, fighting like a real man. And um, it's just going to be hard to, for her not to be there anymore. Jan, thank you very much. We'll let you go for now. We're going to cross over now to our sister, well, my sister, Chriselle Lewis, is standing by. She's got other fans at the entry point right here at the Standing Bank Arena. As I said, SABC News Channel 44 has got this covered. Do not go anywhere. We're bringing the whole memorial service as it develops. Chriselle, over to you. I know you've got a couple of guests standing by. Well, that's right. Thank you very much uh, to my colleague there, Tabiso Sitole. And certainly, what would any sporting code be without the supporters? They're the ones who are always at the stadiums, on the side of the boxing ring. And certainly, uh, when one of the athletic stars or anyone who's participating in athletics in South Africa is certainly running, you've always got the supporters that are there. And certainly, teams can always say they always owe it to their supporters, who are the ones who are always backing their team. Certainly, yeah, what we've seen is so many of them taking some time out of work, saying they're coming here to the Standard Bank Arena to pay tribute to these heroes who've really represented South Africa very well in the sporting front. Of course, we're talking here about Senzo Meiwa as well as uh, P uh, Pindile, as well as Mulayeni Mulawuti. So certainly, you know, we've got a lot of people coming here saying today it's befitting that they come here and pay tribute. Some are saying they will not be able to make it to funerals, but this is certainly the place where they'll be able to pay tribute. Let's chat to some of those. Certainly the sporting fraternity, we can say, is poor here today uh, to celebrate these stars. Mama Choi, you're one of the faces that we always see, you know, on South African television, always in the forefront, supporting South Africa in its sport. Certainly a very sad day uh, for the sports, sporting fraternity today. Hard as it is, Criselda, I am here to pay tribute to Senzo Meiwa because Senzo is our hero, our captain, our player, and my son. I don't know what I can say, but I have to be here today because I was there when he was still alive. 
supporting him, playing for all the parents. Why should I stay home to come here and pay tribute to him? I will always miss that boy. He was my son, my player, and my captain. I loved him, Chris Elder. I will always remember that boy for the rest of my life. He was so special. I think it was the gift that God has given me. But for now he's gone. I have to accept it, hard as it is. It's very hard. You know, I remember this picture. Let's talk about this picture, Mama Joe. When did you take this picture with uh, Senzo Meiwa? You know, when we started the trouble? Yes. Operation Tekken Kwasu, you remember? That's correct. This pick, it was the third cup that we won. If you can see here by the t-shirt, final 2011, mm. Ben Ben Cup final. I was the fan of the match. He was the man of the match, mother and son. Mm. Mama Joy, where, where were you when you heard this tragic news about uh, the murder of Senzo Meiwa? I was at home. You know, there's another guy, he said he's a police from Fos Loras. Hmm. He called me and then, you know, the time he tells me, I say, no, these are the zebras because now they've lost and we are playing against them on Saturday. Hmm. I just shut my phone and then sleep. Mamelo, here, hmm. from Celtic, she called me. She said, I'm hearing what I'm hearing because I know Senzo is your son. What is going on? Hmm. I say, hi, man, Mamzo. Let me find out because hmm. we don't want to speculate or do or say anything yes. before. I said I was speaking to Senzo. Let me call him. Let me call his phone. Mm. I called. I called some other official from Pirates. They didn't know nothing. Mm. Oh, what is going on? I come back to Mamelo. Mamelo, I've been calling, but they don't know nothing. When did you finally hear that it was true? Then I called again. Kelly picked up my phone and said, Mama Joy. Mama Joy, she was crying. Mm. Then she dropped the phone and uh, uh, Zandi, mm -hmm. younger sister of Kelly. Then, right. then she called me and then she said, Mama Jo, your son is gone. I know you loved him, but he's gone. Then I took a phone and, and called Mamelo. I said to Mamelo, my son is gone. And she was also screaming. It was so hard. I didn't sleep that night. I didn't sleep. I thought it's a dream. Mama Joy, certainly very difficult. I think this is uh, what the atmosphere is like here. We've got a lot of supporters saying that they're here to pay tribute. Emotions are seriously running high. Mamelo, I know this is very difficult for you. Mamelo from uh, Bloemfontein Celtic, also in the forefront there. Mamelo, you know, soccer has been brought together here today. Irrespective of if you wear an Orlando Pirates jersey, a Bloemfontein Celtic jersey or a Kaiser Chiefs jersey. This is certainly a sad day for all. Indeed, my sister, we are very sad. What Senso did to us, we're still even asking ourselves questions. Why, Senzo? May your soul rest in peace, Senzo Miwa. I still not believe today is a memorial service. This is hard for us as, as, as supporters. Senzo, he was a captain of Bafana Bafana number one goalkeeper for our nation. This is very sad. I don't know what to say. How would you like the sporting front to remember, uh, not just Senzo Maiwa, of course, but we're also talking about other greats like uh, Mulaene Mulawuzi, you know, as well as, uh, you know, Pindile, also representing women on the boxing front. Yes, indeed. Um, come again. I didn't hear. How would you like the sporting fraternity to remember these great sports men and women in the years to come? Yes, I think uh, we need to learn uh, from what uh, Senzo and the lady did. Mm. Yeah, they played football, uh, soccer, and sports, mm. even Boskin. So we need to learn and make our country proud because. They were, they were leaders for this nation, so we are proud that they were here to represent us as South Africans. Well, thank you very much. Let me come to one of the supporters here uh, from Kaiser Chiefs as well. Uh, since I'm speaking to a lot of women here today as well, Mama, you are also here today. Emotions are really running high. Uh, have you taken time off work in order to be here? 
Yes, I, I, I live in everything that I have to, to do today just to come here to pay a, a tribute to our heroes, our stars, our legend. So, me too. Our, our hearts are scattered as a nation because we lost, we lost people. We lost people that we loved. And we, the, the, those people, we, they were our mentors to us and role models. So, we, we were looking forward to learn to them. So our hearts, we are not even accepting this thing. Right. It's so unbelievable. Thank you very much for your time. Certainly there, as you can see, uh, there are this, uh, you know, complete devastation across the board. You know, uh, soccer fans united here today, irrespective of the jersey that it is that you wear. Certainly we're expecting, you know, as the service to gets underway, a lot more of this where people are saying we've left our jobs today. We've left all the chores that we were supposed to do today. We're here today to pay tribute to these three people who certainly represented South Africa very well well on the sporting front. We'll cross to you a little bit uh, later as well to bring you more from the supporters who continue to trickle in here at the Standard Bank Arena, but I'll hand it back to you in the studio for now. Thank you so much, Griselda. We'll go back uh, to...